I'll draw him down in the team room. Hey, you can take your shirt off, Max Perry. Yeah. I already took your shirt off. Is that right? Yeah, you did. He's really my hero now. <laughs> Hey, Coach, uh, it's got to be mixed feelings. Your defense played really, really well, but the offense did not play that well. So how can you yeah. take it as a head coach? I've never left a, a preseason scrimmage feeling good, ever, at any level, because you just you really don't know what to make of it. Um, I certainly know that I don't know that uh, I think our staff uh, offensively has to, uh, I, don't, I think they have to look at themselves first. I don't think we were had our kids ready to go from the start. Even from red zone skelly to a pace drill against the air. Um, so that's uh, that's frustrating. And uh, we'll discuss that. And, you know, typically, you know, yesterday in the live scrimmage, offense dominated. So, you know, I know the defensive guys had a little chip on their shoulder. And, you know, this is our, our 11th practice. And everybody's fatigued and legs are tired, but they certainly uh, responded a lot better than the offensive guys did today. You could have gone in seven and started raining, but obviously, you know, you're playing yeah. rain. Yeah, I just asked the guys if there's any lightning, and I said, you know what, August 29th it might be raining, so we can at least say we can add that to our experience. Uh, didn't handle it extremely well. You know, quarterback's balls had no real zip on them. Um, I don't know if we were prepared for it, you know, training staff or the equipment guys or not, but uh, we certainly uh, – but it's a good experience, you know. I thought we handled snaps and handoffs pretty decently, but it sure didn't have much on our on our passes. He has been so much better about his decision making. He's felt like he had three pretty good days of practice. He has. He's better out. Yeah, yeah, he had three really good days before today, and uh, you know, today again, um, it's hard for me to uh, it's hard for me to 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 point at our players when uh, I know that uh, we have. To look, I don't think we had them ready today. The word on Robert? Uh, just got a little strain in his groin, and we just want to keep him healthy, prepared. You know, we're, we certainly have had our share of uh, kid, kids that are out still from spring and then other uh, injuries, and you know, we got to start thinking about getting healthy. What were your thoughts on the defense as a whole? Uh, they were ready to go, you know, and I, I knew that. I knew it from uh, pregame on when we did our substitution meetings and uh, then watched them in their walkthrough. They had a little edge about them. And, you know, again, yesterday, that's the way it kind of goes back and forth. Yesterday, they, they left uh, furious. You know, when we went, uh, you know, that uh, that team drives yesterday and the offense stuck three in on them real quick, and they, they were pretty ticked, you know, all night, and they played with the edge today. How important is it to have a day off tomorrow to kind of get some guys well? Like well, sir, it will help, yeah. You know, I don't know if one day is going to get them well, but uh, it will go a ways toward that. And, Hopefully Monday we'll have a few more bodies out there, particularly uh, defensive line. We've gotten real thin at the end position inside, too. So, uh, you know, we, we just, in tailback, you know, one of our deepest positions now all of a sudden uh, saw Tavis go off, too, today. So I, I don't know exactly what that was. Was there anything offensively you like? Anything? Uh, I mean, we had a few big plays, you know. That's really about it. But it, What's the timetable on Kalo and Mark Dotson? I would say Dotson's day to day. Uh, Kalo, you know, just that concussion protocol. I would think tomorrow would be the day that they would start getting him moving, check his symptoms. If no symptoms, you know, it should go pretty fast from there. If he has symptoms, you know, it's still just kind of keep doing that until there's no symptoms. Carlos and Wiggum should be back, which which is good. They they were running today, so I hadn't checked to see what they're. Your symptoms were like, but uh, uh, they're close to being back. Evan Ingram. Evan's real close. He he, he did He's indoor stuff today. Just didn't want him to come back out and jump right in the scrimmage, but uh, should be back Monday. All right, guys, thank you.